So you're thinking about moving into the French Valley area here in Northeast Temecula. Dutch Village, Spencer's Crossing, just a few of the communities here in this area along Winchester. That's exactly what we're gonna be talking about today. We're gonna to go around town. I'm gonna to show you some of the things there are to do here, some of the stuff that's available. And then I'm gonna show you a few of the houses that are for sale right now so you can get a good idea of what is available at what price point. And if you stick around to the end, we're gonna run up to Lake Skinner, one of the main attractions in this area so I could show you what there is to do up there. A really cool spot. So that being said, let's go ahead and jump in. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, working, eating, and playing in the Temecula Valley and surrounding communities like Fringe Valley here, the good and the bad, then hit the subscribe and bell notifications to be the first to learn about the changing market here in the Temecula Valley. My name is Jake Karasi. I'm a local realtor here, and my team and I get calls, texts, and emails all the time from people just like you looking to make their move here to the Temecula Valley. So if that's you, if you're looking to move in a year or a month, give us a call shoot us a text, send us an email. We'll be happy to help you make a smooth transition to the Temecula Valley. So today I wanted to start out this video here at one of the many parks in French Valley area. And the reason for that is, is because with only a population of 40,000 people uh, and about 10,000, a little over 10,000 households, this area has 17 parks in it. One of the reasons for that is because there's been a lot of expansion, a lot of new builds and growth in the area. And usually when they put in a new community, they're gonna put a new park in as well. So this place is really a family oriented neighborhood, set of neighborhoods, a lot of families, mostly single family detached homes in the area. And along with all the parks, there's also quite a few schools. There isn't a high school quite yet just for French Valley. Uh, there are four elementary schools, two junior high schools. There's a high school coming soon from what I read, and they're all in the A category, mostly all in the A rating category. So very, very popular for the schools in the area. A lot of families move here. Uh, not too much to do as far as nightlife and restaurants. There's a few uh, things to do, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Most people who move here though they're just going to head down to Temecula for shopping nightlife entertainment that's where you're going to find most of that kind of stuff in other videos I go over a lot of that as well uh, Pechanga Casino and Old Town Temecula the wineries only 15 minutes from here so not far at all this area has seen a lot of expansion recently in new builds as I mentioned a minute ago uh, KB Homes Lennar Richmond American, Meritage, among others, have all been building here over the last few years. So a lot of expansion, a lot of growth, definitely one of the more favorable and desirable communities and areas in the Temecula Valley. Uh, a lot of stuff going on here uh, as far as festivals and things like that. The Temecula Valley Balloon and Wine Festival is here every year, which is a great time. A lot of hot air balloons going up, uh, wine tasting, of course. That's gonna be next May, I believe, is when it is. And also about 15 minutes from here is Lake Skinner, which is where we're gonna end the video on today, but that's a great spot. You can take a boat out there, fishing, hiking, all kinds of stuff to do, camping. So we'll take a look at the end of the video and show you some of the stuff there is to do up there. One of the other cool things about this area is the French Valley Airport. Uh, it's a smaller airport, just a one landing strip, uh, but they have a French Valley Cafe in there, which we like to go and eat at quite a bit. It's got really good food for really great prices. We're gonna go take a bite there in a little bit here. I'll show you around. And they also have flight schools and other things of that nature if you're into flying. Other than that, there are a few other things to do here and see there's some restaurants, an Italian restaurant, a pizzeria with an arcade. Uh, there is a tavern uh, and a few other things. But like I said, most people will go to Temecula for nightlife and shopping. So that being said, let's go ahead and check out a couple of the houses that are currently for sale in the area so you can get a look at what you get for the price. All right, you guys, I'm here at the French Valley Cafe I mentioned earlier, and this place is delicious. I wanted to show you uh, the portions are big, the prices are very fair. You can sit and watch the uh, planes take off and land and take a look at this. Just delicious turkey, avocado, bacon. Highly recommend this place. So I'm going to take a bite and I'll see you in a minute. 
this home is uh, behind me is being offered for $665,000. It is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, about 3,000 square feet, and it uh, was built in 2012. The HOA here is pretty affordable. It's only $10 per month, if you can believe it. And this neighborhood is very clean, other than the Halloween decorations, because right now we're in October, of course. So uh, typically, if you have no HOA in the neighborhood, you're going to see uh, at least one or two houses that have kind of been let go. Uh, but this neighborhood is very clean, very nice. And I'm going to give you a little tour of the neighborhood right after this, too. Uh, typically, if you have an HOA that charges quite a bit of money, they're going to be in your business. But uh, you want to have some kind of HOA to keep the property values up in the neighborhood. But anyway, this home has a pool and jacuzzi and uh, plantation style shutters. And it's in very good shape for $665,000. Alrighty guys, we are here at our next house in French Valley. There's actually an open house on this one today. This one is a four bed, three bath. It's 2,800 square feet approximately. And they're asking $640,000 for it. The HOA is only 10 bucks a month. So you can't go wrong. Very affordable, 120 a year. And this one was built in 2004, very good shape. They're given a credit for the carpets on this one, but the neighborhood is very clean here. And I'm gonna give you a little tour of the neighborhood. Very desirable area. Everybody seems to love this area here. So let's go ahead and take a quick tour of the neighborhood. Alrighty guys, here we are at our last stop of the day. This is Lake Skinner here in Winchester. It's about 15 minutes outside of where I was just eating there at the uh, airport, the French Valley Cafe. 15 minute drive from French Valley, Dutch Village and Spencer's Crossing. And this is just a beautiful lake here. You can see behind me, gorgeous day today. Not a lot of people out here, even though it's a Saturday. Um, and this is a pretty big lake. I guess it gets 80 feet deep, a lot of really good fishing. 
Uh, I was just talking to the, uh, the guys who work here and they say they've been catching quite a bit lately. So great place to enjoy a little bit of relaxation. You can get a boat on this lake. You can fish. There's a lot of fish. There's a lot of uh, hiking out here as well. And you can even bring horses up here if you have them. They don't have any here for you, but you can bring your own horses and come up here and ride horses on the trails. You're not allowed to swim in this lake because this lake is actually drinking water. It's a drinking water reservoir. Uh, so uh, you can't jump in, but you can take a boat out, uh, you can fish, and there's a splash pad too I'm going to show you in a minute where you can drop the kiddos off and have a good time uh, getting wet on a nice hot day here. So splash pad is a big attraction. There's also a camp store. They have everything you can need. Uh, and there's RV camping, so it has hookups, uh, electricity, water, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and also a lot of tent camping as well. This place uh, is also the location of the Temecula Valley Balloon and Wine Festival every year, which is actually coming up in May. So that's a lot of fun. You always wanna make sure to catch that if you can. Uh, but this is the, uh, the last stop for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been a tour of French Valley. Uh, what to do, what kind of house you can get, at what price. And so uh, if you guys are thinking about moving into the Temecula area or any of the surrounding areas like French Valley, uh, Winchester, give me a call, uh, shoot me a text or send me an email. I'd be happy to uh, talk to you and see what I can do for you. Show you around town a little bit here uh, because we help a lot of people, especially in this area. It's just a lot of great deals uh, going on right now, especially. And there's a lot of new builds too. And the builders are really giving some great incentives to purchase new. Uh, so they're giving a lot of uh, closing cost credits and rate buy downs, um, locking your interest rate, a lot of stuff like that. So if you have any questions about that, or you want to check some of those out, give me a call. And until then, I will see you on the next video.